Hi, so in this video I'm going to be setting up a new electric fence in this pasture on our property. And I haven't made a farm video in a while and I've never shown the process of setting up fences so I think this will be interesting and I'll include some time lapses too. We have a lot of sheep now and they've eaten down all the grass in their main pasture. So now I'm going to set up this new fence where they'll live for a few weeks until the grass grows back. I'm going to be putting in these plastic posts which set in the perimeter of the fence and then the wire will hook into each of these spots and that can be pulled tightly. So I have this stack of plastic fence posts and when I build electric fences I put them about 10 feet apart around the whole perimeter of the fence. We already have alpacas and a llama living over there but I'm going to be fencing this entire area all the way down to there. So that should be quite a lot of grass for this new pasture. I'm going to start installing the posts now and I'll do a time lapse of this process. Okay, so I finished putting in the plastic fence posts around the perimeter of this pasture area. And next, I need to set up the gates, which are made of metal panels. And then I also need to string the wire on the fence posts. So it's another day now, and I'm going to be setting up the gate. And so for that, I'm going to be putting a T-post on each side of it about 10 feet apart. And then that will also give me an anchor. So when I string the wire around the perimeter, I'll attach it to the T-post first. So the next step is to actually string the wire. And I find the best way to do that is to attach the spool right below the back rack, just hang it off of this about there, and then tie the end of the wire to the T-post. And when I drive forward, it will pull the wire out of the spool. And I'll just continue around the whole perimeter of the fence until the wire is unrolled. And that's much easier than trying to do it any other way that I'm aware of. First, I'll just take the trailer off. So I cut this piece of plastic pipe and I put holes in each end and the spool goes on it and it just sits from the back rack right about there. So the plastic pipe goes right through the spool here and out the other side and then it will hang from right here. I usually like to get the first side done first and then I'll slide the spool over this pipe and do the other side at the same length so it sits level. So now the spool is through, I'm going to lower it. Once I lower the spool, I want to get it set so that it's level on here. And once the spool is level, I just tighten the wire down around the back of the rack. Now the spool can spin freely on the plastic pipe, like this. And this is 14 gauge electric fence wire. Now that the wire has been tied to the T-post, all I have to do is drive around the whole perimeter of the pasture and the wire will unspool itself.
Going around corners like this can be tricky because sometimes the wire will pop off of the spool when it's at such a sharp angle to where the back of the ATV is. So in this case, I'm actually going to reroute my original plan of having the fence post go this way and just stay on the road side of this tree. And that will make this a lot easier to get done because the wire won't come off of the spool. So I finished reeling out the spool of wire around the perimeter of the pasture, the first set of wires, and then I need to do one at the middle and one at the top as well after that. But now I need to clip in the wire onto the plastic post, and each post has a bunch of clips on it, and I just hook the wire into the clip and then continue for every post around the pasture. So on these plastic posts, there are hooks going up along the side of them, and I'm going to be using the second one up for the bottom wire of the pasture. That way the grass doesn't short out the fence. Okay, so I completed the first wire going all the way around the pasture perimeter. And now I just need to do two more. I'll do one in the middle and one at the top. And I'm just doing three wires total because we're gonna be having sheep living in this pasture and they stay in a three wire electric fence just fine. So that will be all that's necessary. I'm finished with the middle wire now, and it's just the top one left to do. And the spool of wire has gotten a lot smaller, but I think there will still be enough to do the top wire. I'm a few hundred feet from the end and it looks like I ran out of wire. So I'm gonna go get another spool of wire and splice it onto this one and finish. Okay, the wiring portion of the fence is now complete. I got the top wire brought all the way around to the end here, and then I got this solar-powered fence charger, which just sits on top of the T-post at the gate, and then the power connects to the fence, and all I have to do is turn this switch on, and the fence is now electrified. The last thing I'll do is use another piece of wire to bridge all three wires so that they're all electrified. Okay, and this time when I turn the switch on, all three wires will have voltage on them. The final thing to do is just put a gate right here between these two T-posts, and this is about nine feet wide, and I'm just going to get a metal panel and cut it down to size, and then attach it right here so it hinges, and then this pasture will be finished. So I have the metal panel here, and it fits really well in the opening to the pasture, and then all I do is just attach between the T-post and the edge of the panel, and it functions like a really basic hinge.
Okay, so this pasture area is finished now. I got everything done. The gate's here. I got a basic hinge over there and a little latch right here. And now it's time to bring the sheep over. So we got the sheep out here now and they definitely have a lot of grass available. Hopefully it lasts at least a few weeks or long enough for the grass in their main pasture to grow back. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and I'll see you next time.